Alexa, what's the weather today? Currently, in New York, it's 33 degrees Fahrenheit with flurries. Today, you can expect lots of clouds and snow, with a high of 39 degrees and a low of 26 degrees. of the Sweet Sparrow Yarns Advent Calendar and we have a colorway called Candy Cane Forest. This is by far, Julie, one of my most favorite holiday, like truly holiday-ish kind of colorways that you have done. You've really struck a beautiful balance here of like, I could wear this anytime and it also feels very festive. This would make such a great cast on for Christmas Eve cast on. I absolutely love that. Oh, so pretty. And it comes with a very appropriate treat. Today's colorway from Stress Knits is Winter Floral. Isn't this so beautiful? It's like a kind of tannish brownish base with swaths of many different very muted colors. So like muted greens and blues, muted blushes, muted caramels muted cornflower blue. It's like looking at flowers that have dried up on their stems and are just waiting for spring to come alive again, but still have their own beauty in their own way. This is really nice. Day 11 of the Granui calendar, and this is a colorway called Moonrise. So beautiful. It's a very cool white with speckles of orange, goldenrod, some cornflower blue. There's like almost a tint of lilac, of like lavender purple in it to kind of give it that cool effect. This is stunning. I love this yarn and it comes with a treat. What could be in here? You can never have enough bulb stitch markers. Amazing, I love that they're multicolor too. today but I am kind of wearing the knitwear. I'm wearing my Roebling hat today. This is a cabled hat pattern that I designed last January and then this is the void shawl designed by Melanie Berg. I didn't put this on my most used knits post on Patreon but I kind of feel like I should have because I do wear this quite a bit. It's knit and wool folk yarn though which makes it so soft. <laughs> snowing, but very lightly, just kind of spinning so far. Very excited. For someone who's primarily a knitter, I'm really not the kind of person who enjoys cold weather. I don't like it at all. So I kind of think like, if it's gonna be cold, at least it should snow so it can do something exciting rather than just being cold for no reason. <laughs> That's kind of my take on it. My name is Lou. His name is Mamadou. I'm Ibrahim Mamadou. <laughs> You're already so the ready best for GM for LPQ. Oh, this for sure. Room. Yes, it's mine. <laughs> Listen, you come here, and you get the best, best service. I know, I love it here. I'll take care of you. <laughs> even if I was in crutches, I'll take care of you. Oh, I'm sure. Would you I'll, even? How would you get here? Listen, I'll come here in a wheelchair. Oh my God. Listen, I'll be here. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs>
in Madison Square Park. This is right by my old work building, which I just showed you. The Madison Square Park Christmas tree is one of my favorite ones. It's a super minimalist tree. It's just the giant live tree and um, white lights. And I just, I really love it. It's probably my favorite one, I think. One change that they made this year is that the tree for the first time is on the south side of the park. It's usually on the north side of the park, but I think this is a better location for it actually because it's right in front of the Flatiron Building so you can see the Flatiron Building while you're looking at the tree. So it's kind of perfect. super nostalgic I just the people I met at my old job are like family to me I miss them so much like not getting to see them on a day-to-day -day basis they really did like change my life so just being in this area and see you know I love Flatiron it's always gonna have a special place in my heart my top three favorite buildings and structures in New York overall in no particular order it's a three-way tie the Flatiron Building, the New York Public Library on Fifth Avenue, and the Brooklyn Bridge, for sure. I love these three buildings. The Flatiron just like makes my heart stop every time I see it. It's perfect. like a down day Sephora or Strand. Those are the, that like automatically cheers me up. Not that I'm having a bad day today or anything, but I've just been in a reading rut. I've been needing some new stuff. So I decided to go to Strand and look for some new books. I bought three. <laughs> some leftovers from the chicken that Andrew made for our salads earlier in Vlogmas. So glad you guys are enjoying that, by the way. And then I plan on having a cozy evening in 
Maybe I'll start one of the books that I bought. I'll show you what I got in just a little bit. Um, I already, um, also, not already, I also need to look through the seed catalog that arrived in the mail last week because I need to start planning what I'm gonna order for my garden. So I'm getting like so excited about be like having my own garden for the first time. This is very exciting because I've always lived in an apartment with no grow space. So yeah, this is amazing, amazing. And by the way, if you are interested in this sort of thing, I did create a separate Instagram account to kind of document gardening adventures. There are a few posts over there, but nothing like too crazy. But you can follow that over at Jacqueline is gardening if you're interested. So these are the three books I got. I bought The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. This one appears to be about somebody in a recluse in New York who sees something in her neighbor's window and it changes her life forever. And apparently it's soon to be a movie, so. My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshfeg, um, Moshfeg? I don't know. But this one was like a, if you want to read about people who live in New York. Honestly, this one's kind of like, fluff, it seems like fluffy reading. It says, the shocking and strangely tender story of a young woman's efforts to deck the ills of the world with the help of one of the worst psychiatrists in the annals of literature. So, I don't know. This one seemed like fluff, but it looked interesting. And then this one was like recommended all over the place in the store. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. And it seems very like Victorian magic London. So right up my alley. And the cover was interesting, so let's do it. So I just finished my book. This one. This is Half Spent Was the Night by Ami McKay. It's a little novella. It's the same author who wrote The Witches of New York, a book that I finished in the fall. It was like the perfect fall cool weather read. If you like witches, Victorian stuff in New York, that's a really good book. This was a good little follow-up. And literally two minutes after I finished it, who showed up? <laughs> I'm really excited about this. It's gonna be just a waste of time. But. Well, it might be, but you know what? But we're going to we're gonna find hunt out. a killer. Okay, first, to explain what this is. First. I think it's a game. I think I it's think. a game. Okay, we've had you find this. Was it advertised to you on Instagram? Yeah, which should have been a red flag. Hey, but... it might not be. Okay, so it's a, is it a subscription box? Or is like there's more than one? Or it's just the one? I don't know. We were drunk when we ordered. Oh. Apparently we were drunk when we ordered this. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's comes a, with a cool pin. A mystery box that has a mystery enclosed, and you have to solve the murder mystery with the things that they give you. It might be a subscription. It might not be. The cat will like this at least. Oh yes, new oh, cat toy. Our flashlight. Okay, so we're gonna read this and get back to you once we know what we're doing. So we have read through the instructions. This is a subscription box. So it is a murder mystery. We are solving the case and this is the first box for it. So we get all of these materials. It gives you a little materials list here. And we are detecting, like doing research and clues. It requires use of the internet. Sometimes you have to do research at the library or with books or, um, yeah, it looks really fun, honestly. It says with each box, you should be able to eliminate at least one suspect before moving on to another box. I don't know how often they send you the boxes, though. So, you know? Looks like monthly. Monthly? Okay. This looks pretty fun. So we have all the things we need to get started in here. What is this? Gray investigations. Is this our, like... Notebook. Notebook, yep. This looks so cute. Our murder mystery box, we have a koozie as evidence, a letter, a black light, a map. <laughs> this is so cute. 
We got a Chestnut Falls Sheriff's Office crime scene investigation detailed summary. Oh my gosh, so cute. And we got the class of 98 high school yearbook. 